week, two leading American health experts joined the WHO team that traveled to China, and we look forward to hearing what they have learned once their mission is complete. Those who are familiar with the United States know that it has always had a vibrant civil society, and once again, private charities and businesses have leapt into action to respond to this crisis, just as they have so many other times throughout American history. U.S. companies engaged with China in one form or another, as well as private charitable organizations, have donated upwards of $200 million in needed protective gear, medical equipment and supplies, pharmaceuticals, and cash to help China address the outbreak of the coronavirus. The companies are far too many to name. However, I want to recognize the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the U.S.-China Business Council, and the AmCham's throughout China for their efforts in mobilizing these donations and ensuring that they get to those who need it most. Nobody told these companies or charities to provide assistance. They did it on their own because they believe it is the right thing to do and because they want to help. We're not there yet, but Americans will continue to do what we can to provide assistance during this critical time. Please know that I, along with all of our colleagues in the embassy and consulates throughout China, as well as the American people, are concerned about your health and safety. The Chinese people are in our thoughts. Working together, I know we will get through this crisis.